I don't know how these guys yeah, are still on road, like looking over their shoulder. I remember, yeah, not too long ago, I had some dumb situation where a guy has blocked my car in because he's thinking that I'm parking in his parking space. Mm. And the guy was talking rubbish, so I just pushed him. He stood in my face, innit? Yeah, while I'm sitting in my car. So I pushed Dude. him. Man's got the camera out. Oh, I'm going to call the police and I've just kept it moving in my car, yeah? Mm -hmm. And there's me sitting in my yard on tilt thinking, are the police going to come? I've, I've messaged my girl, say, listen, yeah, if you message me in like an hour and I don't respond, that means the police will come. Blood, they came to my yard, yeah? Sitting in my bedroom, yeah? These times, where's my girl? Mm -hmm. No, she was staying at her friend's yard, yeah? I'm sitting in my yard, yeah? I'm sitting in my bedroom and that. So I must have messaged her, like, listen, yeah, if you message me in an hour and a half and I don't, you don't get no response, that means they, they took me, yeah? yeah. Blood? I'm sitting down, I'm just hearing yeah. cars drive past my house, and I'm thinking, yeah. when are these not going to come? Are they going to come? Are they not going to come? Because all I did was push a man, yeah? Mm -hmm. Anyway, an hour and a half later, and let me tell you something, nobody knocked my door, because yeah? I don't have deliveries come. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have no friends up here, so no one has no reason. As soon as they knocked the door, I was like, it's them, it's them, it's them. Yeah, man, that's just over me pushing someone. Now they oh, dropped the charges. Man. A man tried to press charges because a man tried to get in my face and I pushed him. You know? It's and mad out here, bro. Imagine yeah, there's an operation. You're on the obo, there's an operation on you. How do you even sleep at night knowing that the, the police are after you? Bro, nah. mm. oh, that's why me as well as I'm getting older, bro, I just find this confrontation. Obviously, you shouldn't back down from confrontation, but everyone's yeah. got to be smart on what they're doing because... Like you said, in another day, let's say the guy was like, like, let's say, for example, like you pushed the guy, the feds came, and he was a prick, he would try to press charges, you know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. that's like to anyone listening, like any situation, just try to control it, you know what I'm trying to say? Obviously, you can't control everything, but if you can, then control it, innit? Because I know too many men that's in jail for stupid stuff, bro. I know too many people that passed away for over bullshit, bro. Like, it's not worth it, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm glad you said jail and passed away. Bigger man like yeah. Andrew King, yeah, he said the morgue and the prisons is filled up with nothing but ego. Because, blood, there's been times, yeah, where something happened, yeah, and I'm thinking, blood, I thought to just go back down there and do something, you know. But, blood, bro, it's not going to be worth it. You're going to be sitting me, behind the door, fam. And you're going to be regretting, so bro. Dumb, like a man just yeah. watching you or whatever, really. So, you're going to be regretting, bro. Do you know what it is, bro? It's, it's mad because this is one thing I've realised in life, bro. People like us have been through some real shit on the streets. and like, now... Mm -hmm. You kind of realize there's no point going through that, you know what I'm just saying? But men that ain't really from the streets want to try to do this tough guy act, they go to jail, they're not both for it, bro. That's how they get bullied. They get bullied, bro. That's how I talk all the men, them like, yo, but if you just get a job or find a trade, like you said, save your money, buy a house, or invest, then live in the long run because it's all good, cool. You're dripping in your 20s and whatever. Because I think even, bro, I've been watching your videos, bro. You said something that was very true, bro. All these guys driving the Mercs in the early 20s, the Beamers, when they're 40s, they're driving shit cars, bro. That can't be me, bro. <laughs> you get it, bro. It's wild, and bro. And that's only because, yeah, like, I've met man that's 45, and they've told me, oh, when I was 20, I was doing this. So I didn't yeah. even need to be alive or watching them back then. I've just taken the information. Yeah, that they do. And it's a few people, so I'm like, well, this... If it's a few people that I've known, that I know, mm. well, then there must be thousands of people out there, really. So. A smart man learns from his mistakes. A wise man, no pun intended, learns from others' mistakes, bro. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. No pun intended, but you get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I you think... know, I made a follow-up to that. So I was saying, obviously, a smart man learns from his own mistakes. A wise man mm. learns from mistakes of others. And a great man, he doesn't only yeah. just learn from his own mistakes or the mistakes of others. He learns yeah. from other people's mistakes and then he tells other people yeah, man. Oh, that he, they don't make those mistakes. Well. And I'm telling you,